in the late Cenozoic, there has been this fluctuation of glaciers yeah. that expand and then shrink. They expand and shrink. And this seems to have happened on a 40-ish thousand year cycle up yeah. until the middle Pleistocene. Then over the course of a couple hundred thousand years, that oscillation, or you, we can even sound like the frequency of Earth's ice yeah. variability shifts to a hundred thousand year cycles. 40 yeah. to a hundred thousand. This is weird because most of what we think drives glacial cycles is Milankovitch, which is the yeah. Changing in the distribution of sunlight in response to Earth's orbit, the wobble precession, the um, how circular the Earth's, Earth's orbit is versus oval. But there isn't th those solar cycles. There's nothing at the hundred thousand year band that stands out. There is a Milankovitch cycle that does come at the forty thousand year band, but nothing at the hundred thousand year band. So what drove that? change in the middle pl middle Pleistocene is a huge question driving a lot of research and and getting ice that spans that period like maybe these people at Princeton have they will be able to capture that in a way we have never seen before if especially yeah. we can get direct measurements of the air to get at that 